all right hi everyone welcome to the video my name is Samil Shah and in this video we are going to develop a small software or a code in which uh, you would be doing average pooling average pooling or averaging an image is the most important when it comes to machine learning using deep CNN so let us understand an algorithm and let us develop a Python code which will uh, which will basically do average pooling on an image or it will reduce the dimensions of an image or you can say it is just an average average filter so let me just uh, show you the code or the algorithm or the formula how I developed it so pay a little bit attention I'm gonna zoom it and I'm gonna try my best to make you understand what I'm trying to do so con let's consider we have an image we are also going to code it in Python so stay with me so let's assume we have an image all right so we have an image right so this image assume it's 12 cross 12 I'm going to name this as row and column all right so my task is basically to average this image or do average pooling so let me take a different color i'm gonna go a little slow but uh the, you are gonna make it, this should make sense so my task is take the first pixel take the second pixel take the fourth pixel take the fifth pixel add all of them and divide by four and place it here then slide the window towards the next take this take this take this take this and put it here and similarly so this image would be six cross six so this is the task it's a little complicated it's a little tricky but not impossible we can do it so let's understand the mathematics how let let us understand the formula how do we do this task so let us try to understand that so that means uh, if you observe I said I need the first pixel what is the first pixel 0 1 1 0 1 1 that means I need all these values I need to add them and then divide by 4 okay that makes sense okay so now this image what is the size of this image 6 cross 6 what was the original size 12 cross 12 that means I'll be having two loops for I uh, in range let's i'm just writing right now because we are also going to code it so just want to show you the mathematical formula so i'm going to say this for loop is going to iterate for number of rows by two similarly columns by two so that means this will iterate for six times this will iterate for six times now this is the pixel value zero zero so that means ij is equal to 2i 2j now what this does so when i is 0 j is 0 0 0 when when now, next time the j value is 1 right so this will be 0 2 so now check this out how cool is this so if i take a different color so 0 0 that means it takes this value 0 2 next time it will take this value so on the next iteration this, the window would be moved like the window would be here right so it will take this value then this value right so we we got the first part correct now we need to do, develop a formula for this so it will be 2i comma 2j plus 1 similarly 2i plus 1 2j then 2i plus 1 2j plus 1 so these are the formula the four uh, formula that we need to code now let us go to the python and see a practical application how averaging of an image or average pooling is done let's get started so first of all import uh, numpy oops let me just make sure my keyboard and mouse is, is proper I just want to arrange that properly so I can code it a little quickly so import numpy as mp all right so we are going to develop a class This is gonna inherit from object I will try my best that you guys understand what I'm trying to do now I need to define a default constructor all right so once that is done make sure the spacing is correct now I need to define a function 
define pooling which is going to do the pooling function basically or averaging all right now what are we going to supply here is the image all right so once we have the image what do we need to do guys we need to get the rows and columns so i'm going to comment it all right so let's take the number of rows and columns all right so i'm going to say rows equals to so whatever image we say we apply so we're going to take the shape of that image and we're going to take the number of rows that is zero since an image is a tuple all right so similarly columns is equal to image dot shape one all right we got the number of rows and number of columns what else do we need to do all right so once we have the number of rows and number of columns we need to perform the pooling right so we need to define the shape of first of all for the pooling so ave average score pool underscore image equals to so i'm gonna say np dot zeros np dot zeros right and we need to supply the shape argument shape so what is the shape basically so the new image if i say 12 by 12 the new image is what 6 by 6 so it is the row by uh, divide by 2 am i right after pooling similarly this will be calls or columns divide by two easy now let us write the function which will iterate for number in first first for loop will iterate for the number of rows all right so just gonna make sure for row in uh, i'm gonna say for row in range uh, zero comma rows uh, rows by two for calls in for calls in range zero comma columns modulo modulo two so it will give me an integer if you just write one one modulo it will be a float value and the for loop won't iterate on a float value so make your make sure that your basics are clear so now my average pool image which would be ij which is first element that is zero zero all right so i just discussed the formula here so what it was 2y 2j so this this will take the first value then in the next iteration this will take this this value so after the window would be sliding right so first it will take z zero zero then it will take zero two so and so on so right so um this is gonna be basically um the image that we we are gonna perform on an image right so i'm gonna say image oof that's a lot of coding man <laughs> all right so i'm gonna say image uh, make sure that you have a round bracket because we are, we are gonna do a lot of stuff here so the first row index would be 2i 2j all right so we are gonna take the first value then we're gonna add it with the second value so it's gonna be 2i 2j plus 1 all right so we have the oops uh, it has to be rows my bad rows oh you know what just let us make us let me make it i and j it's better for me too all right so we did this now we need to define few more image image again it has to be so we did uh, 2i 2i 2j then now we need 2i plus 1 so 2i plus 1 comma 2j 
and similarly I'm gonna say image 2i plus 1 2j plus 1 all right so that's the average pooling function that I just wrote uh, just gonna do this way so it's visible for you or easy for you guys to read what I did all right now hopefully if this is right return average pool image all right so basically this class is gonna do the average pooling let us create a image so I'm gonna say random dot uniform low equals to minus one comma high equals to one comma shape equals to 12 cross 12 all right so we have our image now we need to create uh, an instance of the class so I'm gonna say average pool now I'm gonna say print t dot average pool that's a method inside that what do we pass in the image and let us print the shape whether to make sure that did it to make sure that it it did the average pooling so if i run this hopefully all right we have a small issue so np dot random uniform low equals to minus one high equals to one shape equals to 12 to 12 empty rent dot pyx line one two one four empty rent type error uniform got unexpected keyword shape oh all right so there's a small syntax uh, issue that i need to uh, so it's not shape it is size i always make mistake <laughs> crazy so let's try that again here you see it worked like a charm so it it took the image it did the average pooling so here you can see um so if i can print this array so here you can see or if i want to prove this to you uh let me make it four by four so the average pooling would be a one one by one right so just to make sure that this works perfectly um uh yep this should work this should work all right so we have a four cross four image a four cross four image i think apparently it won't work on a four cross four we have to be a little more of the dimensions so let's try maybe eight by eight so if we do the pooling on eight by eight the shape has to be four by four yep that's right so let us print the just want to check if that works perfectly i want to prove it to you that this algorithm works so I'm going to print that image. I'm going to take the first four value and I'm going to divide it by four with the help of a calculator and we will verify that it works. So I know it's a little difficult uh, to see right now. So I'm just going to give a nice print statement. So through which we can see what's going on. So I'm going to say print. all right so this hopefully should work so we can verify that this this algorithm is working so all right let's add the first value we are just gonna do a, a quick addition so 9 minus 7 minus 8 and 5 so i'm gonna round it out round about i'm just gonna do a, a round so um, this is about 9 this is about seven this is about eight minus seven minus seven minus 14 minus 15 minus 15 plus five is minus 10 minus 10 and nine minus 10 plus nine is about one so it should be about one or about less than that so here you can see and when we, we forgot to divide by four so the average function has to be divided by four right guys so I, I i forgot to do that so just gonna make sure i divide it by four so I'm just going to quickly uh, divide that by 4 itself. So this entire image got to be divided by 4. Yep. And um, so now if I take this and run it again. 
so here you see so this is 1 plus 9 minus 5 and um, 0.2 so we're not going to count that so it's 9 point something something so this has to be 9 10 9 10 so let's see what is the average so 0 0.3 so if i do the debug i can um, show this to you so if i do the debug so i can show you the all values exactly and that it works fine Right, so hopefully this will load pretty soon. Uh, I did not create the variables maybe because of that. Uh, yeah, I forgot to create the variable, but let it be. But guys, just want to say that this works. So this is the function. This is the algorithm how you do an average pooling or averaging an image. So that's it. The code is there in the description section below. So you can download it, play with it. So whatever you want to do, make sure to do that. So let us run this again. So this is the image, then we did the averaging and this is the new size of the image you can see. So if we take the first four value, uh, 0 0.09, 0 0.49, uh, let me do a quick math on my scientific calculator. All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick math. I wanna make sure that if this works. Because I'm, I wanna make sure before uploading to GitHub that this thing is working correctly. I don't wanna upload anything that is incorrect, so. So basically, uh, average pooling, you said this is going to take the first value over here. This is the entire one row, right? It treats this as a row. So this is one row, then the second row. So you're going to take the first two value and the second row, first two value. I'm going to add it and see. So I have my scientific calculator here. So I'm going to do that. Minus 0 0.09696 uh, plus 0 0.49. 96 and second row 0 0.32 this will be an approximate value guys and 0 0.0924 so the total is about 0 0.8189 if i divide it by 4 0 0.200 something something so 0 0.204 lovely this function works um let me uh, open the camera of my um, iPad so I can show it to you that this eventually worked properly. So if I keep this here, so here you can see answer is 0 0.204725, 0 0.204. So the average pooling works. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh, of doing average pooling. So if you have any question or uh, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please let me know. Uh, I will make sure to answer that as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching this.